I often get lots of requests from different people saying I should share my samples pack with them. But I think it will be much better to teach you how to create your own samples with FL Studio Mobile so that you can start creating your own samples pack and make money from it by selling to other producers. In case you're new around here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. Creating samples in FL Studio Mobile is very easy and for this process, you will need another app called Moises. I will break it down into different steps so you can easily understand how is done. First step is to download any song that has the type or genre of samples you are trying to create. What I am trying to say is, if you want to create Amapiano Log Drums, then you should download an Amapiano song that has lots of log drums in it, and if you are looking for a trap or afrobeat samples, then download a trap or afrobeat song. After downloading the song you want to use, the next thing is to move it into FL Studio Mobile. But before you do that, you will have to extract the vocal and other visual instruments like keyboard and guitar from the song. Now, let me show you how to do it. Go to the App Store on your device, search for an app called Moises and install it. If you have watched till this point, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I already have Moises installed on my device. Once you finish installing it, just open it. Click on the Add button to import the song you want to extract vocals from. Click on Files app to go to your phone memory. You will find all the audio on your phone here. Just select the one you want to import into Moises. Click on Vocals, Drum Bass and others. Then Moises will break the song into four separate pieces, which are the vocals the drums, the bass, and others like keyboard and guitars. Just click on it, and the song will start uploading. Is an Afrobeat song and that means we are about to create Afrobeat drum samples. Once it finishes uploading, just click on the song you uploaded. Now the song is divided into four parts. The first one is the vocal, the second one is the drums, the third is the bass, while the last one is for other visual instruments that were added to the song. Our main focus is the drums, let's export the drums to our device memory so that we can move it into FL Studio Mobile. To export the drums, just click on the option here. Click on this arrow. Click on, save to device. Choose MP3. Click on save. Now let's import the drums we just extracted into FL Studio Mobile and let's start creating our own drum samples. You can check my previous tutorial on how to import beat into FL Studio Mobile if you don't know how to import. After importing into FL Studio Mobile, just click on this plus icon and select Slicer. Click on My Files. Go to My Samples and scroll down. You will see the drum you just imported. When you find it, just click on it and Slicer will slice it into pieces. If you haven't subscribed to this channel please don't forget to. As you can see, Slicer slices everything into pieces. And if you listen, this is what it will sound like. Go back and delete this trash. It seems like this drum doesn't have much sound in it, apart from the kick, snare and few percussions. Now let's create an Afrobeat snare. With just this one snare you can create more than 100 snare sounds of your own. Increase the tempo. You can shop it to the size you like depending on how you want the snare to sound. To make it sound clean, come over here, click on this channel and choose Hold. You can even tweak the sound with these three nubs. You can reduce the attack or increase it with this nub.
You can change the pitch with this knob. This last knob is to add delay to your sample if you feel like adding delay. Always feel free to set the pitch of your samples to however you love it. But please make sure you don't temper with this first nub. I repeat don't temper with the first nub. If you think the sound is not hitting hard enough, you can bring in a wave shaper. Now let's bring in our wave shaper. A wave shaper is an audio effect that changes an audio signal by mapping an input signal to the output signal by applying a fixed or variable mathematical function, called the shaping function or transfer function. You can shape your sounds by using these two nubs. Just keep adjusting the nubs till you get the shape or sound you need. If you want to adjust the highs and lows, click on the EQ option at the top. This nub is used for reducing and increasing the highs. While this other one is used for increasing and reducing the lows. The next step is how to save your samples. Now let's save this snare and try creating a kick. Let's rename it as snare. Click on wave, then tap on save. Just choose normal level. Click on OK. Without wasting time, let's try creating a kick before I will show you how to arrange all the samples you create in a pack or folder. Make sure you're listening with an earpiece so that you will hear the sound clearly. If you want the kick to sound very clean, come over here and change it from hold to off. You can hear how clean the kick is sounding. In most cases, you can decide not to use a wave shaper if you love the way your sample is sounding without the wave shaper. But let's just turn on wave shaper to make the kick harder. Like I told you earlier, you can use this nub to reduce the highs. Keep adjusting till you get your desired results. But because of time, let's quickly save it and move to the next step. Now that we have finished creating our samples, the next step is to keep them in one folder. To do that, click on Show in Browser. This is the kick and snare we created. Let's create a new folder where you can store all the samples you created. Choose any name you like. I will just name it as Samples. Select the kick and snare. Click on Copy. Click on the folder you created. Click on Paste. Now that you have successfully copied them to your own folder, you will have to delete them from here. Now let's try creating a beat with the samples we just made. Let's delete this slicer and bring in an empty drum template. The samples folder I created is located under my tracks. Here they are. I want to create a simple Afrobeat drum pattern. Let's reduce the tempo to 100 BPM. Thanks for watching.
Let me know if this tutorial was helpful and if there's any topic you want me to make a video on, just drop it in the comments section.